This way. Alas, we're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Maybe your spear can get us across. Make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Kratos. They're all waiting on us. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. Heimdall. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. Now, what you got? <laughs> 
why the half-breed is such a pushover. <laughs> <laughs> Any day now! 
Come on! Fight me! Let's go already! Come on! Fight me! Did you know your son sounds like a goose when he gets hurt? Any day now! Throw the spear, brother! Nice stick! What the? He's not expecting Drop here to go off! I can feel your frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying! What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Well, I'm waiting. Hey, careful! These are due braces. Actually hit me. Slow down. Oh. I don't remember the last time anyone hit me. You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. You think you can bring down the Asgard? Hurry! Come. Uh, 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 
Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Slow it down. You are in way over your head. Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mockerel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! One of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you. My
say to us? That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. A little help? At least the rescue's going well. Try. No, I will carry you. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow. Easy. To me. Follow. We, uh, got company back here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead. Oh, seriously? Nice job, by the way. Hey, I'm a train. You okay? All right. No, just hold on. All right. We gotta be close, right? On your right! 
for long. This is bad. Hey, <laughs> Easy to see in your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. Guests! think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Uh, 
Lunda. Lunda, we need cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Lunda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuff you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Come on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanier god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Mm. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Mm. Whatever it does. Mm. I read about it in Odin's mm. library. Supposedly it. Hold Atreus. We will discuss in private. Mm. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl, we're here. Guess we should follow her. Slobber balls, quite the tracker. More of Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie. The nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. And there she goes. Looks like we're on Halka's trail. But we can't follow her at this time of night. I 
think we'll have to change the time of day in order to reach Helka, brother. Ooh. was giving me a tour, Raven took it to Spartle, and I saw Drellin again. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. At least I think he was pretending. Point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Drellin helping us find gear. <laughs> Seems like a perfect opportunity to use Freya's boat, eh? How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. It should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why would everyone sound so scared of this place? Uh, on that note... Dragon! <laughs> I'm fine! You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we, anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. Something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. Flown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. 
Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. <laughs> Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here, as it were. So... I see. You're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I am already here, Master Kratos. Speak. The tree has become rather... Overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal, considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of, here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. So, who else are we likely to encounter amongst your detachable emotional apparitions? Well, there's certainly no avoiding anxiety. Oh no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sadly. What? Oh dear, oh dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah! People! Well, there it is. Please come back anytime. Do you know we used to leave Vanaheim together when we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, she did the leading. I just enough. Look at that! <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? I'm Dahl's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now, 
But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye, and once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, son. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Uh. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. Hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Aye, lad. Well, not nah, be. Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go. That. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No, sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. 
<laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. Then where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Fen while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Oh, night boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Bowden complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? Probably in a study. Hmm, huh. nicely equipped. What needs work? Does nothing. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated him. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean, you know. He did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I... I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I have to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you know? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. We're going. Nifelheim. Misty too. 